I'm Will Primos. And you're watching Paul Court Morning Channel! It's August 2021. We are south of Gillette, Wyoming, hunting with Bill and Cindy Mankin. Bill is on his way to move me to another hotspot on the 4J Ranch. I think, do you think we got a chance? Well, yeah. <laughs> we always got a chance? <laughs> I looked up after I was in the blind for a couple of hours and this antelope is running in. By the time I got the camera on, he was almost to the water. He drinks head on, so I am patiently waiting to try and figure out if I want to take him. After he lifted his head a couple times and I seen him from a few different angles, I decide I'm going to try to take him. Man, I just made a great shot on that beautiful pronghorn antelope. It's day number two. We're hunting just south of Gillette, Wyoming with our good friend Bill Mankin. Also hunting with my dad and Bruce Udall is along for the trip. He didn't draw a mule deer or an antelope tag, so he's kind of sitting with dad right now. I actually shot a better pronghorn last year. I didn't get any footage of it. I was kind of bummed out about that, but this one here came in. It was the, the second one that I could have very easily shot. And uh, it looked like it was long. It didn't have great cutters, but decent. I mean, it's a, a, a mature uh, antelope, but I decided because I had good footage, I was going to go ahead and shoot it. And uh, mule deer season opens a day after tomorrow, so we can focus on getting Dad a nice mule deer. So I called Bill. He's actually in town getting a part because he's a, he's a rancher, and uh, stuff always breaks down. But you see Said he'd be here in about 45 minutes, so all is good. I seen the thing do the old t t flip. I'm pretty excited. Uh, he stuck me in here this morning because uh, I was in another spot, and one of the ranch hands came to check on on uh, one of the water tanks, and they blew all the antelope off the field. And so I called him, and and I, I figured they would come back, but he's like, "I'll I'll move you to a different spot back in the badlands. You're not going to see a lot of antelope, but they'll just come in and sporadically." water throughout the day but it because it's been really warm and it's really super dry out here so bill got me in the vehicle and drove me out here there was a blind setup on this tank and this one came in this one actually was running and i looked up and i'm like oh so i i turned the camera on and it pretty much walked right in and of course it was drinking facing me so i had to wait for it to finish and then hope that it would stop before it got out of the camera and and it did so all is good i'm waiting for bill we'll go recover the antelope all good a1 archery hunting 365 no off season you're watching the paul corn bow hunting channel antelope was standing right there and it's actually dead right there Is a smoked goat. Whew. Look at that. Thanks so much to Bill and Cindy Mankin and Bruce Hudala for all your hospitality and help on this adventure. 